Thank you guys for stopping by at my channel Experimental Gardening. Today's video is about uh, the perennial plants which I have made an experiment. I have the Shasta Daisy, this is Dianthus, Asiatic Lily and some marigold flowering plants. So last year in October 2023, uh, I put all these four plants in one big pot after when they finished the flowering this is the shasta daisy plant it was having very wonderful beautiful white flower and the other one is the dianthus it was having very beautifully red color flowers and they both were very good and they just gave me flower like four to five months and this is the asiatic lily it was having very beautiful maroon color flowers and they normally grow from the bulb. It bulb looks like, as <coughs> you can see, it looks like a garlic bulb. So every bulb produces only one single stem plant, and it produces like uh, uh, three to eight uh, buds in one plant. And sometimes, if you see uh, more branches, like it may have like two or three flowering branches on the top. So every plant can produce up to eight to 10 flowers in its season. And the plant flower li uh, lives like uh, uh, four to five weeks, not more than that. And uh, they, when I put them together, I was not sure which will come back. This is the marigold. So after six months when the next spring came i saw some of the uh, plants uh, were coming back uh, and i was very happy to see them the first one came the asiatic lily you can see this is the asiatic lily and it has a small small burst now so every bulb produced one stem and every stem has the flowering buds so all the three bulbs came back so it means if you grow them they will come back again and uh, the next one was the shasta daisy which has very beautiful white flowers it also came back and you can see in the back there are some white flowering buds this is the shasta daisy the dianthus and the marigold didn't show up so in this experiment it shows that uh, the Shasta Daisy and the Asiatic Lily are the plants which will come back every year. So if you want to grow something in your garden which will come back every year so you can grow these two plants. So I didn't put any fertilizer, anything. Last six months they were in frost, snow and cold weather but this all they, uh, these two plants survived. The other two didn't come back. So you can see now the birds are showing up and they are this is the Shasta daisy birds white and this is the Asiatic lily maroon color flowering bird. So every week when I see them uh, they become bigger in sizes and uh, changes the color from green to maroon you can see in the video and uh, when you, this is uh, at the, you can see now they have uh, become the flower and these are the beautiful Asiatic lily flowers and there are some more birds to come and uh, the Shasta daisy is also coming and it is showing also uh, the some birds so at this time you can put some uh, uh, fertilizer so they can uh, grow more and more and give you beautiful flowers. The Shasta daisy lasts longer than the Asiatic lily. Asiatic lily only lasts, flower lasts only four to five weeks. But the Shasta daisy you can uh, enjoy the bloom like three to four months. So guys, I hope you will also grow these perennial plants and you will enjoy when they come every year and you will have uh, fun growing this kind of flower so guys thank you 
and if you like the video kindly subscribe and share with your family and friends and press the bell icon so that whenever i put new video you can be notified thank you guys and see you in my next videos till then bye